Um, well, I really like the campus and the way everything was laid out. I like the classrooms and like the small classroom sizes because I didn't want to get lost in a big campus with like a huge lecture hall and all that. Like I like the individuality that each of the teachers had. Um, I really, really like the dorms in the living area. So it was just all around a good pick for me. It was a good fit. Um, well, there's tons of stuff to do on campus. Um, APB, the Activities Programming Board, they always do something like put on movies in the forum. So like last year they had like Batman, um, Pineapple Express, like a whole bunch of different movies like that that were just released from the theaters. Um, there's always like some sort of game playing in the intramural fields or the basketball court. You can go to the rec and work out. You could just go to the UC and hang out, that's what I prefer to do. Um, there's always something to do, so it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, the dorms or the residence halls are amazing. Um, you have a whole bunch of kids from like everywhere and they all like, you find out what you have in common with all the different kids from different walks of life that you never thought you would have been friends with or you would have had stuff in common but you end up like being really close in the end. Um, well, I'm double majoring in health services with a concentration in public health. And basically, with the health services major, you have one of four different concentrations that you could pick from. Um, I chose public health because I'm, I am going to be a respiratory therapist, so I figured that would help me in the hospital setting. Um, but I chose to double major because for the first three years I was trying to figure out what I was going to do and so I just started taking like a whole bunch of health services classes and once I figured out that I really wanted to do respiratory therapy I started taking more classes geared towards what would help me with that. So it's really easy to double major just if you really like school go for it. Like. I love school, so. Um, well, you have two instructors, Mr. Hooper, which is the director of the program, and Mr. Tony Schmidt, who is the clinical director and program assistant, I think. Okay. Um, and they're really great people. Mr. Hooper, like, oh my lord, I love him. Um, he is just so, so smart and he just knows everything about respiratory therapy from like the history aspect to like clinical questions, like you have a question about a ventilator and why it does this, he'll tell you exactly why it does, what it does and how it does it and it's just, I don't know how that man has no bunch of knowledge in his head, I really don't. And Mr. Schmidt, he, he's a good person. Um, he is in charge of all your clinical sites, so every semester you go out to like a different hospital and you stay with them for that semester and you follow around somebody and help them do their workload. And so he's in charge of doing that and he also teaches a couple like lecture classes and he'll give you a lot of like the basis of like your lungs and how they work and the different parts of like the respiratory tract and stuff like that. So I really like them. Like, if I had to pick two teachers, I would pick them. Um, well, clinicals work by, like, they allow you to take baby steps in a hospital setting. So, um, your first semester, we were in the CSC lab, which is the clinical simulation lab. So, you work on, like, life-size kind of robots, if you will. Um, and they do everything that a person does. So you learn how to like set up the different masks and how to give like the treatments and stuff before you actually do it on a real person. I found that to be really helpful. I was a lot more comfortable when I actually went in to a real hospital and I dealt with real situations and real live people. Um, second semester, you kind of do what you did the first semester but with real people. So you do treatments. You do, like, you take your stethoscope and you listen to them and you learn how to assess them properly and um, 
you have to set up certain amount of like oxygen devices so like the nasal cannula that goes around your nose and around your ears and stuff like that. Um, your next semester after that, which will be your summer semester, you learn to do ABGs, which is an arterial blood gas. That's where you learn to stick them in like their radial artery and like you draw the blood to track their oxygenation level, stuff like that. Um, you learn to extubate them. So people that are on a ventilator, you learn to like make sure that they can get off the ventilator by doing certain tests and different values, stuff like that. Um, and then you actually learn how to like pull the tube. Um, let's see, you learn different things about the ventilators and you have to do different like patient ex like assessment assignments just to like make sure that you're like pulling in everything that you've learned so far into what like your assessment. Um, and then in the next few semesters you'll be rounding with um, like pediatric, neonatal, um, sleep lab study because these are all areas that respiratory therapists can go into just besides like floor treatments and ICUs. So you do that and then you will also learn how to intubate people. So people that have to go on the ventilator, you're going to be the one that's able to like put the tube down their throat to be hooked into the ventilator. So it's, it's a very broad category that you learn in clinicals. Um, you basically just learn how to do your job once you graduate from the program. So it's very beneficial and learn as much as you can there. <laughs> like, you're going to need it. If I were to go back home and talk to a high school senior that hasn't really decided what to do with his life yet, I would definitely recommend coming to USI. Um, just for the sheer fact of like my experience here, like I have had such a positive experience about the living quarters, school, um, even the food court, it's not that bad. I really like it. Um, you know, everything. I've been involved in everything from Amigos to sorority to um, campus life stuff. Like anything that you want to get involved in, it's there for you to do. You know, your college experience is what you put into it. So I would definitely recommend USI just for the sheer fact that it's just so open to so many possibilities. Um, if he were thinking about health services or respiratory therapy, I would definitely recommend it because I've liked every single teacher that I've had. And I know that's really hard to say and you think, there's no way that she could like them, but I did. Like, I haven't had a single problem with one of them. Like, I really enjoyed it. Um, it's just, I find this stuff very interesting. And it's, it's really easy to switch from one degree to another. So if you decide that, you know, business isn't for you, then come on over to health services. You know, it's, it's really easy because the core is the same throughout all of, the different programs and the degrees so it's really you have a lot of flexibility and I think that's very important in a school. Um, another really good thing about USI is how technology friendly they are which is amazing for people that have like busy schedules or you work or you have a family or you're just taking a huge load of classes, but you want to fit in that extra class to give you more options for the next semester. Um, they offer online classes, which is just amazing. And all that is, is you don't have any meeting times during the school year. It's all done online on your computer. And a lot of times they will put on like podcasts or breezes. And basically that's just, they videotaped a lecture of themselves and it's basically the same lecture that you would get in class but you're in the comfort of your own home so that's really good and you can listen to it anytime so if you're a night person you could listen at like two o'clock in the morning or midnight but you could also do it really early in the morning um, you also have a lot of contact with your classmates by doing discussion boards and basically that's just where you would write your opinion to a question that your instructor poses 
and um, then your classmates would have a chance to respond to it and you have a full blown out discussion on it and it's really easy it's really interesting to see what the other people have to say about this issue because a lot of times in classes not everyone speaks their mind but on online classes it's really easy to just kind of be like well this is what I think deal with it you know so I find it really interesting I really enjoy online classes a lot of your health services classes will be offered online so that's just simply amazing especially if you're in another program like respiratory therapy because you have certain class days that you have to be there especially with like clinicals and online classes allow you to finish your health services degree as well as your respiratory